All right, let's talk about an effective setup for online lessons. First, let's look at the phone. Either get a smartphone or a tablet that you can use with Skype. I use Skype because it's universal whether they have an iPhone or whether they have an Android phone. It works on any phone. You can also use Hangouts, which is universal as well. Next, get a mic stand with a boom on it for flexibility and placement of wherever you want them to see your hands. Now connecting that phone to the mic stand, I would get this mic clip that has a spring in it. You will want a computer that you'll set on your piano and you'll want to put this right in front of your face where you'd normally read your music. I install TeamViewer so that I can control their computer and their music. I can click on things. This is really essential. And over here, sometimes I use headphones, sometimes I don't. It's optional. And those go plugged in directly to your headphone jack on your computer. Next, your student station should look nearly identical to yours. You'll want TeamViewer on their computer. You'll want their camera placed so that you can see their hands. This is the basic setup. Let's go ahead and move to some real live shots and then I'll start a lesson where I introduce a student and assign them a new piece to start learning. One quick note on what to buy for a microphone stand. I get a lot of people asking what type of stand to get. A um, couple of options I've done. This one here for 25 to 30 bucks. You can find just a real cheap microphone stand with a boom on it. Um, I've done that one, but you kind of need a gooseneck sometimes if you're for more flexibility because it doesn't have a lot of options here. I'll tell you the one I prefer. It's heavier, so I can my phone won't flip over. This one here, that's 79 bucks from Guitar Center. I'm really happy with this one. It's heavy duty and it has lots of options, so you can you can kind of see what works best for you and your studio. There are three views that I like my students to have. One is this, where it's a bird's eye view of my hands, mm -hmm. so I can demonstrate how to play things the same way that they would look down and see their hands. Secondly, is a view where they can see from the side. So right here, now they can see me at the side at this angle, like they were watching me perform. And thirdly, I like to be able to see the students right in front of me, next to the computer. And this allows me to see what they're doing, and over here it allows me to control their computer. I can, uh, via TeamViewer, what I do is I, I have their screen up here, and I can tell them, click this note or that note. I can highlight things, slow it down and have a lot of control. I can see what they're missing. At the same time, I can see their hands playing. So that is the setup. The one other thing you might want is this gooseneck, which you can see will bend around. Real quickly, let me show you what this looks like. This is simply an attachment. It's a mic clip you can get for about six, seven bucks anywhere online. And it just opens up, closes. I put it on my phone, just like that. And it holds it really well. What I've done is I put a little bit of tape right here so that it's not slippery. And then I don't have a case on my phone, so it was very slippery. I also put some tape on that. You can see it holds it really well. Those are the pieces that you need. Now I'll show you a lesson and how it works online. All right, Matthew, how are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Good. I'm excited for our lesson today. Uh, when I go ahead and show you a new song that we'll start for the next recital, it's called Arabesque. Have you ever heard of that one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. All right, let me go ahead and show you. First, I'm going to perform it for you. All right. And I'll just move my camera here so you can see my fingers. You can see my fingers, and here we go.
right, what do you think of that one? I like it. Okay, it's a fast song, but I think it learns really quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce it to you here. Let's go to the library. And I'm going to click on this plus. We'll add it into your library. And we'll move over to my favorites. Click on that. And down here, I want you to do it in the minced. And I'll see how fast you can get through the program. This is basically built so you can just learn it in sections. So this very first one, in case you're not aware, there's a video tutorial if you need it. You can just click on this. Just hit the play button. And it'll just walk you through. If you want to, you can use that tutorial. Otherwise, if you know how to read this, you're good. If you don't remember what note that is, you can just click on it. And so let me go ahead and start you off in prepare mode. Can you play that first part for me? All right, super easy for you. I'm gonna click assess now. So in time. Excellent. Hit the forward button or the arrow and then hit the space bar again to start. Hit the forward button and let's go full speed. Excellent. Okay, forward button. We're going to the left hand. Hit the prepare mode and let me just watch your fingering as you play this. Okay, that looks good. And hit the assess. Okay, that's pretty good. We just had an F chord when you first started. I can see you missed this note, which was the E, but you did play an F, and then you caught it right away and jumped up. Did you realize that you could stop it? Uh, oh, just so, yeah, play play the first note, but miss some. Or sorry, the first measure, but miss some, and then stop it with the space bar. So if you notice I, I messed up, I'm just going to stop it and start all over. So you don't have to play through the whole thing knowing that it wasn't, it wasn't good just on that first measure. Okay, good job. So notice over here in the top corner you are 6% of the way complete with this song. How long do you think it'd take for you to finish this song? I, I like that you looked at your watch. Most people say, <laughs> Uh, I could do it in a month, two months. <laughs> I asked you how long you looked at your watch. <laughs> uh, 10 minutes? <laughs> 15 minutes? I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> All right, I like, I like this format because it just gives you the, uh, you click over here on, uh, on where you are and it'll, it just tracks right through there. Now I would, so because you're a better reader, I think I might go to chopped for you on this one. Can you, you think you could read hands together pretty well enough? Yeah. Okay. Let's just do the first uh, one, two, three sections and see how you do. I'm just going to, I'm just going to watch you practice and see how fast you get through this. You're welcome to speed it up for me if you want. Did you, do you know how to speed it up? If you don't know, if you don't want to go that slow because it's really easy for you, just hit the plus key and you notice the tempo changes. 
Now hit the plus and hold it down until it gets to about 60. Ooh, that's a little fast. Remember, these are 16th notes. All right, now hit the space bar. That four chord got you there, huh? Yeah. Let's do it again. I think you got it this time. Set. Go. Nailed it. Next. This time let's go 70. Hit the plus key and get it up to about 70. Oh, it's at 80. Never mind. Let's go to 80. Standing next. Okay, next. This one, let me see you do it in prepare mode first. This is the second line. Be careful of your fingering. Do it again. Same thing. Okay. My team viewer froze. Keep going. Yeah, I want you to just keep going. Next. Pretty close. Nailed it. Awesome. How, what's your percentage completion? Uh, 14. That took you about all, all but three, four minutes. So another three, four minutes, you'll be up to 30%. So yeah, I think you could probably do it in one day. Um, that will be your assignment for this week. I want you to go ahead and get as far as you can through your stars. And then I'd like you to either Marco Polo me or text me this percentage. I like Marco Polo a lot. Have you ever used Marco Polo? I uh, know. It's a video app. It's kind of like texting, but with the video. Uh, Mary, Mary, can you go ahead and Marco Polo that to me? Yeah. To show you. Yeah, just 
just take a quick video and say, hey, he's at 14%. He's at <laughs> Did it take a picture of your face? Uh -huh, right. Nice. Okay. Very good. I will see you next week and good luck with your practicing this week. Okay, see you later.